What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're going to go ahead and review a special player. It's going to be that 91 Fantasy FC hero, Carlos Tevez. We're looking at a card's 5 set on the height, high, high work rates, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is controlled, 90 pace, 92 shooting, 85 passing, 91 dribbling, 92 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with, finesse shot, Chip shot on basic, power shot on plus, power header, trickster, press proven, technical on plus, quick step, and relentless on basic as well. Now, there's a couple chem styles you could give Mr. Tevez. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to give him the Hunter chemistry style. You max out the acceleration. Sprint speed goes up to 97. You max out the shooting category for the most part. Finishing 99. Shot power 99. Attack position goes up to 95 as well. Passing looking solid. Dribbling looking good all around. Physicality is looking A1 with 97 stamina, 90 strength, 95 aggression. Hopefully the physicality on this card is very nice just like on this Champions League version. With Tevez, we are going to be playing with this amazing team right here. Shout out to homie Dobby. We're going to be using him in a 4-3-2-1. And Tevez is going to be playing alongside that evolution card Armstrong. That is very, very nice. Apparently a lot of people are a big fan of that evil Armstrong. Now, I was a big fan of that Champions League hero Carlos Tevez version, but let's be completely honest, he's a little bit outdated at this stage of the game. Now we got this Tevez, over 4 million coins. We want to see if he's a potential top 10 striker in the game for the rankings that I'm going to do next week. We're going to play some games in foot champs, and hopefully this Tevez is worth the price tag. Here we go with game number one. Let's see what type of team our opponent has. Hopefully it's a meta one. Backline is kind of mid. Midfield is whatever. And the attack is... It's okay. I'm going to be honest. It's kind of a mid team. Oh, Mr. Tevez. Very nice in the step over. Oof. Good try on the weak foot. Unfortunately, he couldn't score that. Very nice pass right there. Nice little run. Little left stick dribbling. Oof. He did miss that. That is unfortunate. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, great finish with the weak foot. That was nice. The step overs, just like I remember on the Champions League version, feeling pretty nice so far. Gonna hit Tevis on the inside right there. Little Travella. Ooh, what a banger from the boy Tevis, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is cooking up. Got Tevez running on the outside right there. A little power shot. Ooh! For those of you guys that love to see power shots on the channel, there you guys have a power shot on plus. We're going to have a rage quit most likely. Is this guy going to leave the game? The guy left the game. We're going to the second one right now. Very nice. Oof, he's just too nice with it, y'all boys. This Tevez is, is very, very nice. As you guys just saw, he does have high, high work rates. So if you love strikers that play a little bit of defense and contribute on the offense as well, that does work very well for this card. Nice, test out that left stick dribbling. Very nice and crispy, y'all boys. Good try. Wow. That was with the weak foot as well. We almost scored that. Let's see if Tevez is able to outpace. Oh, that was nice. Absolutely fire. Maybe a little bit of poor defending from our opponent. Great finish, though. Now, 
Man, that was a nice step over. To be fair, our opponent didn't really defend that play that well, but Tevis's step overs are feeling pretty nice. Nice, great finish right there. Things you love to see. Great LBY from Cruyff. Tevis, beautiful finish as expected, yeah, boys. This card is pretty clinical. I do like that. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Little left stick dribbling. Cooks Van Dyke. Absolutely filthy, yeah, boys. This card is top tier. Very nice job keeping onto the ball. Great resilience. Find him back in the middle. Little reverse elastico. Just way too easy, man. Little tap in right there from the boy Tevis. He is cooking up. Oh my goodness, good try. Let's see if we can outpace Walker. We do not, but we do cook him. We do cook Walker. A little bit of a poor finesse. That was kind of a bad angle. Give it to the man himself. With a power shot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Second power shot in today's video. Another golazo, yeah, boys. This looking very broken. You guys saw how deep Mr. Tevis dropped those, those high defensive work rates. So if you're somebody that loves that type of play style, you're going to like this card. Great pass to the boy Armstrong and a great finish. Great assist from Carlos. Oh, what a ball from Cruyff. And ooh, I'm looking at that miss from Tevis. Very nice. Redeem himself with the weak foot, and he does. Great finish right there. I don't know why this guy is still in the game. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 91 Fantasy FC Hero Carlitos Tevez. Coming around 4.3 million coins by the time I'm recording this video on the Xbox and PlayStation. 5.4 million coins on the PC market. We played three games with the card, 13 goals, and one assist as a striker in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Absolutely insane return from the card and I'm gonna go ahead and say that he is absolutely amazing 1000% makes the argument for being a top 10 striker in the video game I already was a fan of the 90 rated Champions League card and let's be honest he's a little bit outdated because of some plus ones and plus twos but this Tevis has two play styles on plus and for those of y'all boys that love the power shot trade this year you guys are gonna love this card because Tevis is pretty consistent with that power shot on plus so pros right off the bat is that he has five star skill moves who doesn't love an attacker with five star skill moves next is the shooting and everything in the shooting category is a pro the offensive ai aka the attack position absolutely amazing 91 going up to 95 finishing absolutely top tier yeah boys 91 going up to 99 tevis is up there with the r9s the team of the year cr sevens hallens eusebios as being one of the best finishers in the video game even with that four star weak foot guys i know i preach a lot about mbappe being the best four star weak foot in the game along with cr7 tevis makes the argument as well he's probably third with having the best four star weak foot in the game very consistent from what i saw next pro from the card is the dribbling the dribbling is actually pretty solid 88 agility 89 balance 95 reactions 91 ball control 92 dribbling with him being 5 7 Feels a very, very clean with the step overs, reverse elasticos, scoop turns, every single skill move you can think of with the five star skill moves. Very responsive, even in bad gameplay. You combine that with trickster on basic and technical on plus, absolutely fire stuff from the card. Now let's talk about the pace because the pace is actually pretty solid from this card. A very much noticeable improvement from that 90 Champions League version because the 90 Champions League version was very consistent with the shooting as well. He just lacked a little bit of speed. And while this 91 Tevez does feel quicker, he's not on that same level as quickness as a Pele, as an Mbappe, even like a Team of the Year Halen and those Team of the Year attackers. He's not on that level. 92 acceleration does get maxed out. 89 sprint speed isn't bad, but it's not perfect either. Just It's not exactly perfection from the pace aspect, but it's still pretty solid. Passing is pretty underrated as well. 90 vision, 90 short pass, things you love to see. He had one assist 
in those three games. Another pro from the card is that he has 97 stamina. So no matter where you play this card in the pitch, he's gonna last you the whole game. Then you combine that with the 90 strength, 95 aggression, and his body type. Even though he is 5'7", you do notice a huge improvement from players like Tevez, physicality wise compared to other players like Lionel Messi, Neymar, who feel very, very weak on the ball. Tevez, even though he is 5'7", he doesn't lose the ball that easily. Now, I will say one thing about Tevez's work rates, even though they are high, high, some people may love that, some people may not like that. If you're somebody that likes high, high work rates for a striker, Tevez will be dropping back a lot. So if you guys love to play out the back with your strikers dropping back, you're gonna love this card. If you're somebody that's not a fan of your strikers dropping back and you specifically want them to stay in the attack and you don't want to see them anywhere defensively, make sure you guys have them on stay forward. You put that setting on Tevez, you won't notice the high defensive work rate. I think I'm going to put him in my rankings video for being a top 10 striker in the game. I do like this card more than Eusebio. I do like this card more than Timothy or Messi. That might sound crazy to some people as a striker. As a striker, I do prefer this card over Team of the Year Messi. Obviously, as a winger, Team of the Year Messi is way clear of this 91 Tevez. But this 91 Tevez will most likely become a 92 rated because club wins two games in the next four games. 92 overall, I'm thinking. And then club scores 11 goals in the next four games. That's going to be a little bit difficult. But if City is able to do that, a 93 Tevez, y'all boys, it's going to be very dangerous in the video game even this 91 absolutely overpowered so he's going to get a thumbs up for me and he's going to get a rating of a 9 out of 10 i believe i gave this card the same rating as the 90 champions league version but obviously let's be honest the 91 is a little bit better but i just don't think this card is on the same level as those team of the year attackers like team of the year hassan team of the year cr7 and those cards just a tad below you guys let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about fantasy fc tevis are you guys a fan of this 91 version or not i feel like everybody's gonna love this card if you guys try them out you guys let me know thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos that concludes the review for fantasy fc team number one the next video i'm gonna go ahead and drop is gonna be on friday or saturday and we're gonna drop another bunch of player reviews from team number two, Lucio got leaked, Yaya Toure got leaked, Wesley Snyder got leaked, a whole bunch of big boy players got leaked. Yeah, boys, you guys know me. We got to get on that grind this weekend. Thank you guys once again. It's been your boy Dan FIFA. Till next time, I'm out. Bye bye.